to she and then he took a day yard all day for Kerala. You know, we, we are in uh, Houston, Texas uh, right now on our way to Washington, D.C. As you know, Rosalind So uh, oversaw the Navajo area IHS for, for many years and helped all of us uh, throughout this pandemic working together with the Navajo Nation, Dr. Jill, Jim, and many other uh, groups out there. And we were able to overcome the tough times of COVID-19. And ladies and gentlemen, with our support, uh, she was uh, recommended, nominated by President Joe Biden to oversee all of the Indian Health Services uh, throughout the country. There's 12 uh, regions. Navajo area is one region and 11 others, so 12 total. And ladies and gentlemen, she was uh, nominated by the president. She uh, passed the Senate with no opposition. And tonight in Washington, D.C., we're going to be supporting her in her swearing in by Secretary Becerra uh, for the Department of Health and Human Services. So, you know, and I've been honored to be asked to help out with the ceremony this evening. So it is a history in the making, our first Navajo to be uh, the IHS director. And I'm so happy and proud of her and proud of all our Navajo people. And this is what we were told. Go to school, get the education, get that experience. And, you know, one day you're going to help uh, our people. And in this case, you know, Rosalind helped our nation, our people. And now she's going to be helping all indigenous nations throughout the country. And so we're very proud of her. I know there were some events, there's even a forum, a uh, debate going on this evening, but you know, this is my job uh, as president. Uh, I need to speak on your behalf and to also encourage uh, those of our Navajo uh, professionals in their, uh, in their next stage of their career. And that's what we're gonna be doing with Roslyn. So, we're not going to be at no debate tonight. I'm sure the forum is going to be well, uh, well done. And but you know we're we still got a job to do. Uh, the Navajo people still put us in office to uh, speak on behalf of them. And that's what we're going to be doing in Washington D.C. this evening. 